2021 Comma Awards. This is the award show where we award all the community members who do great work in the community. Eric's one of them. Hi, Eric Spector's here. These are real community people that we know. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about you know a little bit of open pilot this year in review and all this exciting stuff. It's going to be fantastic. So uh, yeah, let's stop the copyrighted music before it gets too late. <laughs> And uh, yeah, let, let's start by talking about Open Pilot this year. All right. It's been a crazy year, hasn't it? Yeah. Should we flip it to the? Oh uh, no, we're not going to show it. It's, oh, our I secret, see. it's just our notes. Our secret notes. <laughs> All right. So we've got Open Pilot launched November 29th, 2016. Can you so I guess that was that? the first commit. Yeah, it was the first commit uh, that was released in Open Pilot, and that was 1,800 days ago. <laughs> 1,800 days ago, five years ago, Open Pilot started. Which is crazy. It's been over five years of Open Pilot existing in the world. Uh, this year, we've had 185 unique contributors, including Comma employees. That's a lot Should of people. No isn't secrets. It? There are no secrets. No secrets. Oh, should we just show them briefly? There's no secrets. Oh, it has the awards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, there's secrets for you know. There's secrets for now. Minutes. Yes, sorry. <laughs> That's right. Um, look how many stars we have now, dude. We have 31.7 thousand stars. And that's up from 21.8 thousand at the beginning of the year. Wow. So I mean, we've had basically a third of the stars came from this year alone. I think we're in the top 100 repos, at least for our main language GitHub Flags assignments. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Super exciting. Let's climb up next year. All right, and then we support over 150 cars. That's actually 157 as of yesterday. Whoa, 157. Yeah. Um, what else do we have? Best new car this year. That's new car. That's new car. <laughs> the Rap4 Prime 2021. Oh, wait, no. Really <laughs> <laughs> Could have been the best. Oh, maybe it's the S Class? I mean, yo. We got some super good version. Someone wants to buy me an uh, S Class. We'll make it work on flagship. The community I heard was going to chip in and buy a BMW i3. Can you give it to us? The BMW i3? Did you take a free ah. i3? Or do you have to support flagship? I would I'd take anything for free. the range on those. Look, can we just honor last year's communes when we had nice chairs to sit in? We had a couch. And now we had a couch, and now it's covered in crap and boxes. Boxes. Yeah, we'll show you the tree. It's, it's very pretty. It's the comma, the comma tree. Wow! Did someone get a comma body for Christmas? <laughs> they sure did, George. Cool. It's even wow. decorated. You can get someone a comma body for next Christmas. That's right. Today. Yeah, there's a lot of comma body pre-orders, so you know, still get in, and you're, you'll still be in the first batch of comma bodies. How many, how many yeah. viewers we have to? We've got to give people a little bit of time to get in here, and I'll just jump right in. Oh, we're something. not jumping into the awards, you know. That's well, a good point. The awards are right. <laughs> Any other interesting things? You got to cut the commercial break right before you get the award out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe Tell my tuxedo. I got the commercial. Oh. Sounds good. Oh. <laughs> oh, when do you want to be ready to start giving me the oh. oh. All right. Well, this is good because we're not in the award time yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here, here's here's a fun little Easter egg, everybody. Uh, this is, what, what was this called? The Hippo. The Hippo. This uh, was a common Neo. How many people remember a common Neo? Yeah. Look, here it is right next to a new comma body. Let me explain the problem with the hippo. What was it's the small and you might kick it. It reminds me of That's a true. Lumo. Yeah, look how tiny it is. I don't think they know what a Lumo is. I don't think uh, if you don't know what a Lumo, what a Lumo is, Google it. L-O-O-M-O. -O -O. Very festive. Look at the, look at the ceiling. <laughs> Pretty cool. I think the people are in here. I think they're in here too. Yeah. So what about CI words? runs, Adib? Are we over? Are we over? How many uh, CI runs? Oh, CI we runs. We've got 22k CI runs. I don't know if that includes force too. You know, you can enable the Open Pilot CI on your fork with one button. No way. Yeah, you go in your settings, you enable GitHub Actions, you have all, almost all of our CI coverage. We have some stuff that runs here. Do their GitHub Actions pay for it or, what, or do ours? Uh, I mean, ours, but you know, we. Free. It's open source. Oh, I was so, so generous for open source repos. It's I amazing. know. I mean, GitHub's, GitHub's going to scale back. You know, it's one of these things we don't talk about as a world how we're all becoming so dependent on GitHub. No, I think GitHub's gotten way better in this way. I agree. But first, look, 
This is the basic startup business model. First, you get all the customers, then you lock them in, then you jack all the prices up. Yeah, the thing is, we'll just run on the Z40 here. I'm way faster anyway. All right. <laughs> yeah, so total commits, 3,173. So that's about a commit every three hours. Look who did the most commits this year. Oh, you. I wonder who that would be. <laughs> oh, it's this guy named Adib. Adib, right. who, who's that? <laughs> Adib did 910 commits. All right, we have our... Everyone clap. <laughs> we, we, need, we need like an audience, a live audience clapping every time we say something. And we also released 11 releases this year. Yeah, it's almost one a month. Yeah, so super great. All of them have been pretty big. Uh, we did the Zero Eight series this year. Uh, launched last year, kind of late last year. Mm -hmm. Kind of just kept pushing on the same stuff. The lateral toggle will be removed uh, probably maybe next release, or release right after. And we'll have a new toggle the for lameless, you guys. The lameless lateral yeah. toggle, not lateral <laughs> in general. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. The uh, tail toggle. Well, well, let's go over some highlights with OpenPub this year. Should we ask them what their highlights were? What yeah. Were your favorite features? Sure, go ahead. What were your favorite features of the year? I'll yeah. start uh, by saying some. We shipped the first good laneless model this year, the first KL model, KL as we branded it back in the day. And uh, yeah, that was very exciting. Research has been working on, you know, making lateral good for years. And finally, it was a model that could drive end to end. So that was a really big deal for us. Anybody have any favorite things? Does it show us all the chat? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you when know, you view it, they have top chat and live chat. Oh yeah, that's, that's annoying. Uh, uh, we shipped forward collision warning using the model. That's pretty cool. Laneless, laneless improvements. improvements. Yeah. yeah, laneless literally used to like, not work. <laughs> if you drifted at all from the center of the path, it would stop working. Uh, so we've come a long way. Yeah, laneless is amazing now. Yeah. Doesn't break. <laughs> never, bro never broke for overpaths, <laughs> I don't think. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, obviously, hardware announcements. The Comma Three launched this year, back yeah, you just, you uh, really July thirty first. Yeah, you saw the Comma Body. You saw the Red Panda. You saw the Comma Three. Yeah, yeah this is a launched, big hardware year. Yeah, we launched a new platform, and then we launched the evolution of the Eon platform. Yeah. So and the evolution of the Panda platform. So it's a big hardware year. Hardware team's been working hard. Oh yeah, and definitely. they grew fifty percent this year. <laughs> The people have a heat pump, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it grew one person. Yeah, one person, 50%. Yeah. Production's also, you know, done a lot of great work this year. Uh, we finished out all the comma twos pretty much. Start building comma threes and, you know, still working strong on that. So, it's continuously getting better. There's a lane pull mode? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's default lane. There's, yeah, there's the laneful policy and the laneless policy. The socks, someone said. <laughs> socks. Socks are good, too. All right. Next year, I have to say long for no DSU Toyota. No, no, If you want that, you gotta work on it yourself. We're not interested in weird cars. Um, yeah. Though we are hiring a car person, so. That'll be on the priority list, but you know, like very, very low. Um, so, that's reach a good, out if you wanna work on cars here. Yeah, and that's a good point. Comma 10K finally finished all their images in 2021. Did we give them new images? We did give yeah. them new images. We gave them some official comma 3 images. It's not even called TC anymore. Comma Pencil, we really appreciate you. You know, it's you guys who are making Big Model possible. I'm super excited for Big Model next year. Um, but if you're going to announce an award, let me know. We'll touch commercial break. We're going to commercial. Man, I think it's that time. It's commercial time? I think it's commercial uh, time. Oh, come here. Mm. This commercial is for <laughs> this large rack. It represents 42 U's of space, and it's about big enough that I can fit inside. If you said this was an elevator, somebody might believe you. It's like one of those like mine, mine shaft elevators. <laughs> so this award is brought to you by this rack, and there's going to be five more just like it in our brand new compute cluster uh, coming next year thanks to the money we raised. So that's a commercial for this rack. You can buy one at CDW or Amazon, and they come fully assembled. True fact. This just wheeled up to the door? Wheeled up to the door, just like this. And now we have a switch in the rack, too. But this commercial's not for the switch, it's for the rack. Switch not included. <laughs> is, there, is there another commercial? <laughs> or is that the only commercial? Oh, there's more commercials, but we just take one at a time. Okay. Now we go back to the war, hopefully. Oh, and then we're going to do another commercial. <laughs> Great.
All right, let me show everyone what the commies are gonna get. Here it is. This is. They're getting those things? They're getting those. Oh, man. They're so nice. We really love yeah, them. We're going to miss them. Yeah. They're really nice. Neon commas that light up. The batteries are. included? Yeah, we'll include the batteries. No, it has a cable. Takes three double A's. It charges? These are rechargeable? No, I mean, it's just power. It power. Check it out. <laughs> oh, that would make a good commercial. Oh, well. <laughs> For the commie <laughs> <laughs> itself. <laughs> So you can see, we've got some Christmas snacks going oh, on. Oh yeah, yeah, we're eating holiday food. There's some donuts under that foil. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> cool, let's uh, announce the first award. Is Harold here? Yeah. Harold, come see what the first it. award is so you can announce it. I think you'll like oh, this. Oh, there's one. a list, I see. Here's the first award. Oh yeah, best tuning. For Quadmus. Yeah, Cadmus, this was the, I think. Oh, Cadmus. Yeah, no. All right, either way, for uh, you know, making a PR that meaningfully improves the tuning experience. That PR allows people to plot and plot juggler, just kind of all the things that are relevant for tuning. and should really direct people to um, tune more effectively. Tuning is kind of this thing where you can just change things and see how it feels, but there are much more effective ways of, uh, of figuring out what, are, what the right approach is to improving your car. So Cadmus, thanks for that. It was good PR. Hey, you also did the, the tuning for the Volt. Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah, custom yeah. feature logic. Acadia. Yeah. For like the four people that have that car. Implementing <laughs> his own uh, his own tuning system. Yeah. Tama is the best. You're right. Yeah. All right, we'll go off to another commercial break. Another you ready? Commercial. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> While you're here enjoying your chips and salsa, you know what would be great to enjoy? with chips and salsa, but you had a robot that was just standing over there balancing. And soon, you can. This is the prototype Hama body. Take a look at it. You gotta look at it from top to bottom. It actually won't be made out of wood. We're gonna replace this with an aluminum plate, but notice how it has a much smaller stance than a hoverboard. It has a square, a square pipe. And the trick to a square is you can't rotate it. So the comma three mounted on the comma body's head is always perfectly aligned with the rest of its body, which is not so true for me. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little unaligned, but the comma three fits perfectly on the comma body. This is a lot closer to what you're gonna be getting. You can actually pre-order one of these today. Uh, there's a limited amount of pre-orders. There's only 50, I think maybe even only 40. Uh, we sold 25 so far, so uh, you know, get in early get a comma body. Like imagine just you're standing here and you're eating a chip and it's balancing while you eat a chip. Just imagine that. I can I can envision it. Yeah if you if you go on our Instagram you can actually see a clip of it uh, one of the earlier prototypes actually going outside. Pre order your body today. Yes. <laughs> you can do it. Just go to comma.ai slash shop and it's in the accessories page. We didn't sell out we didn't sell out you said no we still have a few. All right, next up, also Harold needs to announce this one. What am I announcing? You're announcing the, the most helpful feedback slash bug reports winner. Oh yeah, so that goes to Hubble Sphere. Uh, That's Hubble Sphere. Hubble Sphere has a consistently <laughs> given very yeah, constructive right? feedback, got given a lot of negative feedback with, uh, you know, attach data that we can investigate and things that are reasonable and have all the descriptions relevant for us to investigate. I've uh, investigated so many Hubble Sphere bug reports that have led to finding real bugs or improving experiences. So that's very helpful. If you guys want to see um, how you can be helpful, you can look at all the things that Hubble Sphere posts on Discord. Oh, hey Hubble Sphere, or Logan, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's very helpful. It's very informative when there's all the details attached that could be relevant to us and have routes attached and stuff like that. So. Yeah, keep it up. A good bug report. What, what makes a good bug report for those who yeah. never made a bug report? They have an issue, but they want to report it. How do you do it? Yeah, the most important thing is that you attach a route. Without a route, there's very little we can investigate. So that's the number one thing. Please wait, wait, always... wait. How do you attach a route? Okay, so you can go to uh, connect.com.ai and there you can look at your drives. 
and there's a button that says thing more info or something yeah. and there you can copy the route and the timestamp in the route to your clipboard so just post that when you have any complaints and then uh, yeah just kind of give a good description of your experience um, don't just say like oh it was driving badly in a Lexus like there's very little we can do about that if you give a route and you say what exactly is driving badly if you say you're on a fork or not and if you say like this is something that's changed recently or this changed since then uh, that kind of stuff's all very useful so keep don't tell us you're on a road trip you don't care <laughs> <laughs> hurry i'm on a road trip <laughs> on posting gifts that's also super useful if it's like a driving related thing if you just attach the gif of what's going on on the road super useful remember the difference between being a hater and criticism is data. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to yeah. consider that the ad. <laughs> we love complaints if you can investigate them. Complaints yes. we can't investigate, we can't really do anything with. Yeah, so thanks, Logan. You're going to get one of these commies. Here it is. Don't you already have one? No. one of these out for the hackathon. Oh, we did? I don't know, did we? Yeah, I think we gave one away. What did we give that away for? No, we just got oh, these for Comic Con. The Comic best Comic idea for the Comic Con body, which I forget what it was now, which I should really remember. You're right, we did give one to someone who. A scarecrow. Yeah. A scarecrow, so a scarecrow yeah. That's yeah. the best yeah. idea for Comic Con. We found a real job they can replace <laughs> Yeah. We should also say, you know, this, this commie will have to come down too, but right now it's being the star of our Christmas tree, so that one's going to take a while. Logan didn't get one, so he's excited. <laughs> he didn't get one, okay. Yeah. Did, he, did he get something at last year's Tony's? Yeah, you got like the 3D printed copy. Oh, there's going to be a real theme here of, of Sam contributors. We got, we got new faces in here. Yeah, I know. All right. Uh, this one, I mean, I don't know who should announce this one. I guess I, I can announce I feel like it. we should just give it a dongle ID. And then it's like a raffle kind of thing. You That's what I was going to do with the order check number. Like, <laughs> a, B, D, oh shit. I think order number's better. <laughs> okay. Next, next one, uh, Greg invented for this year. And it's the most common three training data, the most uh, data we can actually use in training a model that came from a comma three this year. And uh, that went to Gregory, and your order number is 16742. And if that's you, we're shipping you a copy. <laughs> wow! Yeah, this early, early data in the comma three is very much appreciated. In the beginning, there wasn't that much data. We always have to collect all the comma three data in every training run because we want to have similar amounts for the comma two data. Yeah. So very much appreciated. Should we tell them how to upload yeah, let's, data effectively? Let's do that. Like bring your device in, connect it to Wi-Fi, ideally upload DM. Yeah, if you want to be useful, the, the most important things are to mostly be on the internet most as much as possible. So we just scan for uh, routes that have been driven and uh, look for certain things that we think are useful and we pull data from those devices if they're online. Um, Having DM footage is also incredibly useful for the DM training, um, future also for the driving training. What else is... Yeah, we also... Well, we want DM anyway, right? Later on. Is yeah, DM will... All the video without... All the logs without DM are going to be kind of useless at some point, right? Yeah, at some point we'll require all three cameras to train uh, comma 3 data. Some other things that are very useful... Um, yeah, we also filter on forks. We, it's not enough uh, worth the effort for us to make sure that certain guarantees are met on fork data so we don't uh, use fork data right now. And forks intentionally mess with the logs, which is not fun, so. Yeah. It's, it's kind of adversarial to use forks. forks. Forks can also have timing issues. Yeah, we work really hard on the timing. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, if you're using a lot of CPU usage, certain messages that should be logged appropriately uh, might, might be too slow, uh, and then the data's kind of broken, unusable. Yeah, end-to-end -end DM is something we're working on. Um, I'm quite impressed with the DM improvement. So there's a lot of stuff in 0813 already. Yeah, 0813 is going to be very exciting. I was just uh, just about to roll in roll comp uh, merge and roll compensation, which really helps on like windy roll roads. Just testing that. That seems pretty exciting. Cool. 0813 is going to be great. But it's probably going to be uh, well. 0812 barely just came out. <laughs> and that was a great. Release. That was a great release. Series has been great. Yeah, it has been amazing. So you know, keep driving with your common threes. Uh, upload uh, over Wi-Fi. Like keep them connected to Wi-Fi when you're home. There's so many people who must have Wi-Fi where they park, and you I know, think that's great. I mean, yeah, we don't really offer a cheap way for people to plug the device in inside. Yeah. Maybe we should. But they don't need to with a Comma 3. It'll power fine over 5 volts, right? Like a nice 5 volt connection. A little power fine over 5? Yeah. Yeah. Right, cool. yeah. 
So you can bring your phone three inside. Plug it into your phone charger or your MacBook, it'll work great. Yeah, it plugs it, it even works with USB C to USB C. I know Eric didn't know that, but yeah. Common two is a little uh, it's a little sketchier, but the common three is good. Um, I mean this is another thing you can do. I'm down to like offer like something really cheap. Maybe we can even include it in the box. Yeah. If we want people to power the device inside and it helps us. Yeah. We can uh, we can we can help with this. Yeah. Yeah, I guess most people don't have Wi-Fi for their price, price. Yeah, I think Jungle most probably do. And like a like if you had just have a house, like, yeah, yeah. Guess but it's also important to yeah. bring it inside because it will power off at some point. Well, I think it'll power off even if it's inside. Mm -hmm. We haven't checked those things. Definitely do it. Uh, I think we have a check. Just, we have some kind of checks to see if it's in the set of things that could be on a harness. If it's five volts, I think we, we don't. Check. Oh, I guess five volts. Yeah, we could do five volts. We could also do like if the power, if the volts don't go down at all. Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise, I don't just count the power. Yeah. Yeah. Seems good. Um, Get yeah, those Prime, over Wi-Fi. You know, you guys know Prime loses money and it's about to lose more money. It's about to lose way more money. Yeah. Um, the cell phone companies are all switching to paying per gigabyte. Unlimited is over. The party's over. So we're not going to pass those costs on to you. Prime's already a rip off. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. A reasonable deal. <laughs> um, so uh, remember that we do lose money on Prime, uh, so we're going to really encourage people to, to, to get on Wi-Fi um, until the cell phone companies in two years bring in London to find back. Yes. <laughs> I remember. Um, I remember so, back in the day. I didn't. I had unlimited, then I didn't, and then I have it again. <laughs> this is a commercial for bad cell phone companies who took away unlimited plans. <laughs> uh, don't, because now it's per gigabyte. You pay for what you use. And people who use six gigabytes per line, very sad. <laughs> At least there can be fast gigabytes now. It's true, it's yeah. true. Yes. It will get faster. The prime experience will improve for the user, <laughs> just the cost will deprove for us. <laughs> okay, this will incentivize us to make it good. So. That's right. I it's guess good. it really is a plus for you guys. <laughs> it's gonna be great. The people's, people keep winning. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, I think the next one, I mean, I think indeed you should announce right. the next one. Car so Porter of the Year. Car of the let's, Year. Let's get a little, All right. you know, a little ramp up to it. Like, oh, should we give a, we'll give a runner up. Yeah. Okay. We'll yeah, give yeah. a runner up. So this is, we'll give you a hint. This one is a Jason, the runner up, <laughs> but the winner is also a Jason. So I don't know if there's some correlation with, you know, people named Jason and <laughs> Car Porters, but uh, Sonny Haven or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce his season, yeah. but he's been the kind of de facto Hyundai maintainer for a little bit. He did a bunch of car ports. He's been upstreaming firmware versions. Just super helpful. Um, so, shout out to you. You're the runner up for this year, but our other Jason like really killed it this year. Uh, we should have actually counted how many individual cards. I can go count after this announcement. Um, yeah. But it's well over 20, I believe. Oh, yeah. Of our Easy. 157 supported cars. Congratulations, well, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Jay Young, you win a commie. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Car Porter of the Year. And what's great about a community member like Jason is, they're also willing to help out. 34, he said. 34, so oh, he's got you. Okay, oh, good. I'm glad he's got you. I'm glad too. Um, but he, you know. Oh, there we go, woo! <laughs> now we're, <laughs> big improvement. <laughs> um, but he goes out of the way to help other people importing cars, yeah, different brands, helps like GM. Fresh brand ports, he does a great job. He recently fixed the, issue that's been uh, kind of plaguing the GM cars for a long time where they the EC rule falls um, and it's quite strict so uh, came up with a clever solution there's only a couple lines um, and it's largely mitigated the issue um, yeah so does a lot of great work with other sub communities and helping them meet their cars good too so someone like Jason is just super invaluable to the community and he's really uh, not, uh, he's not too far behind our, our real number one contributor of the year that we'll shout out a little bit later. But Jason is awesome. After a commercial break. After, After a commercial, commercial break. break. <laughs> Who's this guy's name? Oh, they're um, talking about each other. All right, commercial break. Uh, all right. Have you ever gotten a box in the mail and had no idea what it is? Well, that just happened to me. Greg handed me this box. So, Let's figure out what it is. <laughs> oh. Do you have any better ideas? Oh, scissors. 
scissors would work too. <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited. You know what I could use now? A box cutter. <laughs> this commercial is brought to you by the lack of... Brought to you by Amazon Basics. Well, yeah, how am I going to use scissors to... You got to do this. This sounds like I'm going to cut my hand. Are scissors allowed on planes? I think so. Uh, I hope depends, so. It actually depends where you are. When I was in the country of Georgia, they seized my scissors. Can, I bring, can I bring, can I bring those, can I bring those scissors, scissors on a plane? Of course, assuming you're I think these the are mask. too big. You can only bring the small um, scissors. The small. All right. All right. Scissors. Let's figure out what's in the box. It's package it. Whoa. Oh, no Whoa. way, bro. Whoa. Is this a Whoa. RTX 3080? Whoa. Yo, I'm going to play so much Minecraft on this. <laughs> Wow, and it's even better. Look, it has a blower fan. Whoa. The, the hot air goes out the back. Wait, does Minecraft use GPU? Of the GPU. Of course yeah. it does. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to render it in ultra high 8K resolution on the, on the GTX RTX 3080. And also the CUDA Graph API that runs on this RTX 3080, but not in the data center, only in a compute cluster. Yeah. Great of all those shaders on Minecraft, it's going to be great. Right. <laughs> Something related. Yay, Yay for NVIDIA. <laughs> We're clapping for a commercial. Yeah, commercial. Good commercial. The unboxing. <laughs> okay, now it's time for shout outs. These are, you know, they're not getting commies, but we appreciate every community member. So there's, there's a lot to talk about. Uh, first of all, there's Shane, who runs the most popular four. We skipped one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we did. Yeah. Okay. We got one more to announce. We, you're right, we have one more commie to announce. Uh, do you want to hold up a commie? Yeah. I feel like we don't hold up the commie. Either. These are really cool. They're, they're custom made. All right. From China. From China. I'm like your comments to be built in the USA. That's in right. <laughs> built right, right there. Right. <laughs> okay. This one goes to the most controversial community member of the year. I'm going to let people guess for, for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most controversial community member of the year? Who's winning this commie right now? Is Shane more, more popular than Dragon Pilot? Shane? Shane's fork? Uh, I just put Dragon. Most Dragon Pilot devices are. <laughs> Shoot him. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> No, not good shoe. No. Whereas, well, I guess he, I guess this guy isn't that controversial. We should talk about. It. No, good. Who likes good shoe? He's just negative. <laughs> okay. This person okay, is fine. helpful. We'll, uh, we'll give you a hint. Yes, they're very helpful. They help people in the community. If you catch them on a good day, they're gonna, you know, be amazing. Fix all your problems. If you catch them on a bad day. They're gonna send a, a meme in the Discord. <laughs> uh, they are. Yes. He's reliable. He's reliable. That's true. Some. Friendly to some, <laughs> envious to others. Yes, the kami goes to Eric. Oh, I called oh. it, yo! <laughs> Clap. Woo! <laughs> Short clap. Good job, Eric. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for providing. Uh, you drive a Toyota. He drives a Toyota and he works at IBM. Can you guess? <laughs> <laughs> he sold more Toyotas than your average employee who works at a Toyota dealership. <laughs> he really has. I can't. I I can't believe it. I met him in person. He wears a Toyota hat. Like this guy's real. Wait, he works for Toyota. Toyota. No, he just wears a Toyota. Oh, hat. <laughs> I don't know where yeah, he got the hat. <laughs> um, but yeah, Eric, you do a great job. Yeah. You help a lot of people. And, uh, you know, I think you're, you're good at pointing people to ask the right questions because sometimes you, you know, you come in Discord, you don't know what you're asking, you don't look it up enough, and I think that's important. He, he keeps to, the Discord kind of elevated, you know? Yeah, he does. We don't want to hold people's hands too much. Keeping so. the hacker spirit alive, yeah. you've got to Google your own shit. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Eric, for all you do. Cool. Okay. Now to the shout outs. Now to the shout outs. First of all, most popular fork. Shane, uh, Shane is the inspiration for our fork installer. So thank you for, for that. Installer.com, that AI lets you install custom forks. And this all came from Shane originally. Shane interned here for a while. We appreciate you for what you do in the community. 
Yeah, I think his fork kind of delivers um, pretty good experience to a lot of people who otherwise might not have had the best experience on stock open pilot. So it's pretty nice you can take stock open pilot and make some of the little optimizations that we're it's not doing. It's starting to sound like an ad. It's a commercial. I'm sure it's fork. <laughs> no, we just want to shout him out properly. <laughs> All right, all right. Shane, uh, he runs a good fork. Um, a lot of people run it and they're very happy with it, so. Yay, Shane. That's a lot of true. forks are based on his fork, so he's kind of like the king fork. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. All right, next up is uh, people who got fingerprinting 2.0 working this year. So we got oh. Nissan and Mazda. <laughs> who are these people? The all Nissan right. people, Robin. Yeah. yeah, he came to the hackathon. Uh, yes. Martin L. Wait, this isn't Nissan. Did he, oh, maybe he helped with it? I think he helped he, with it. Okay, Martinell is the Subaru maintainer. He does a great job. Merged yeah. some of his PRs recently. Um, but yeah, I guess he helped on the Nissan uh, firmware query. And Rosim IO. Cool. Big shout out to you guys. Um, you're really you. improving the carports. Yeah. yeah. Big thank you to you guys. And we really need all the cars on Fingerprint 2.0. You're working on Subaru soon? Yeah, yeah Subaru one's gonna get merged soon. We just got Sonata in, we're gonna test it. Um, once we confirm it doesn't interfere with any of the other cars, um, let's go to Merchant. Great. So another shout out to Martin now. If you want to make your car a tier one car, it needs to support fingerprinting 2.0. Gold tier. We don't want fingerprinting. Gold tier. Gold, tier. Wait, gold, gold tier. silver, and bronze. Yeah. We're not using tiers anymore. Oh, what? Yeah. We've moved to the metal system. To avoid confusion with the car tier suppliers and numbers. I don't think anybody can be so tier one. Gold, silver, and bronze. You got a gold car. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, check out my gold car. Like a dog, yeah. literally. Yeah. Yeah. You, you'll see about this new thing in the new year. Uh, but um, not all cars are equal, and some cars are doomed to be silver cars for their entire life. Didn't silver car go out of business? Didn't they rent Audis? <laughs> I don't know who silver car is. Yeah, they rented Audi A4 from them until they went out of business. But you can make your silver car a gold car, but it's gonna be real weird. No one else is gonna have one. So if you oh, want to do that with, with firmware mods. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how nice we're going to use the emojis and the silk and the metals. Emojis? Great. What? Are the emojis ingots? Or are they just the car? So I love a good ingot. I think they're ingots. <laughs> we, we can use the ingots. Oh, that'd be, yeah, that'd be sweet. You put the ingot next to the car. Yeah. I'm like, it's a way of saying if you have a firmware mod or not. If you say Honda Civic Silver, you don't have a firmware mod. Honda Civic Gold. Carparams.metal color. <laughs> the engagement order depends on your kind oh, of car. Oh yeah, you should know you, you drive a sub to your experience. All right, should we go on to Mazda? <laughs> okay. <Accord. laughs> I we drive the Accord one. every day. It's it's terrible. <laughs> and yours is terrible too. The only person who has a not terrible Accord is Will, and this is why it's a silver. You won't even car. share it with us. He <laughs> won't share it. Our Accord is the shittiest door. Yes. Every this is why we fix the orange alerts. Yeah, it is though. That's true. It, it did inspire some good things. <laughs> but every day, every turn, it's like beep beep. Uh, great. All right. And then now we got the Mazda ECU query, but really the whole Mazda port. Yeah. We recently, I think this was in 0811, we got the CX9 merged. Um, it's the first supported Mazda uh, in Upstream Open Pilot. We have some other ones that are dash cam only because uh, they have a steering lock out. But so thanks, the car. car. Yeah, you did a great job. Still a work in progress. I think he's working on longitudinal now, but I drove, I drove it. It was pretty decent. Yeah. I think if it can support open pilot longitudinal, it can be a gold car. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The torque was good. It's, it's all right. The torque of six five was good. Uh, is it not good? Kind of varies. I don't know. I think there's some space to get some. I suspect you know more. C dependent. Almost gold. Almost gold. <laughs> no, no, it sounds silver. Maybe. Yeah. That What's a gold silver. car? We got the Hyundai, the Toyota, and the VW. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, yeah, Jason and the, the VW crew, really. Is it really showing for us? No, wait, wait, wait. Really, the VWs are out They're all bad. exactly the same. They're exactly the same. They have a great API. Yeah, like, wait, why is the Audi bad? I don't know. Just like. I think it was poorly tuned. The but. wheel was sloppy. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it was tuning. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it was late. Yeah, I I think Jason fixed that. Like the actuator delay on it was like ridiculously way too low. So that, that oh, so you're problems. telling me it has laggy steering? No, it has like is like it... Toyota level steering. Oh, 
Wait, that's not that bad. The Toyotas don't lag, just the sensors lag. Yeah, yeah. No, okay, in Open Pilot, the Toyota was like 0 0.1 second delay, and for some reason the VW was like 0 0.02 or something. Mm, okay, so well, I think, yeah, I think there's just, we're not accounting for the lag in the stack. 0 0.1 we can count. That's okay. What do you want to do now tomorrow? Sounds good. Yeah, we'll do one more before the final award. Yeah. Um, Alright. So yeah, gold. Cars coming in the new year. Yeah. What's VW next? doesn't have craft torque. <laughs> what is... Wait, VW's torque. We cap it. Uh, maybe they're going to change it now, but we know it's limited. All right, tuning related. We've got a uh, somewhat new contributor here. Um, I think we merged something of his just today. Clockness Monster. Really looking into uh, the internals of how the controllers work. Um, found some things that were some very low hanging fruit you can improve. And uh, some. And some nice uh, PRs with, you know, he provided a goal, a verification, and uh, he confirmed it actually works better on his car. In principle, it's better. So those are the kind of PRs we're looking for. Uh, not just kind of a PR to get a commit and open pilot. So great work, Clockness Monster. Yes, thank you. I think he, he was just in chat, so thank oh, you for your... He was pretty active on Discord. Work. Yeah, keep it up. I think he's got a super... Maybe next year you'll get a commie. Keep, keep working at it. Yeah. Yeah, this is how we actually hired... Should we talk about Igor? Yeah, this story? is how we hired Igor. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. How, how'd... How do yeah. we get Igor? So uh, Igor is now on the hardware team. This is how we grew the hardware team 50% this year. 50%? <laughs> it's a much bigger hardware team. Um, and yeah, he joined the community sometime last year. Um, yeah, he got a shout out. Work. I think his first time, like, maybe it was a week after his first post on Discord, he already had like three PRs merged across different repos. He had like one in Serial, OpenDVC, and OpenPilot. So immediately productive and this really got our attention and he just kind of kept the ball rolling and uh, we gave him a shout out in the commies and I'm not sure we actually got an award. No, he just got a shout out but it inspired him it was to keep going. Yeah, he kept going and then he got a job here. Yeah, so, so keep it up. If any of you want to work here, I mean one, just, you know, try it out. Submit good PRs, but uh, yeah, keep it up. Great. Uh, we also just wanted to shout out a few open source repos that we use here. Before or after the commercial break? I think the commercial break is it's, just going to be, this is gonna be right, right after this. And then we do the oh, final work. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So first of all, a tool we use that we love is Plot Juggler. Yes. Tell me about Plot Juggler. You use it all the time. I do use Plot Juggler all the time, but I think it would be a little more fitting to from a skeptic. Oh, you, were, you were a plot chugger skeptic at first. Yeah, I was a plot chugger skeptic at first. I had, uh, I don't know, I had a lot of Jupyter notebooks that did the same thing. Um, so at first, when all the Jupyter notebooks I had worked perfectly, I would just use that for a few months. But then I had to start adding things to them. I tried plot juggler instead, and it just worked. And now, now I'm a convert. Yeah. yeah, he's converted. I'm a convert. I think I was skeptical because my notebooks worked really well, and I didn't think that plot juggler could be even less hassle, but it was so. Fully converted, fully converted. It's an amazing tool. Um, so shout out to its maintainer, um, Davide Faconti. I think that's how you pronounce yep. his name. Um, and we actually are working on a, a plugin to put the video from your device into the blog. So it'll, when you scrub in prop and plot juggler, you'll see the frame at that given time. Oh wow. Um, that'd be pretty cool. That'd and be you amazing. can do that with Q cameras, your F cameras, any of the camera screens. Um, it'd be really good. Be an awesome That's tool. Across. Across. You can put the cameras and plot on it? Yeah. It works now. Uh, it's, not <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna work. And then after that, it's Mac support. So. <laughs> and it has <laughs> memes as well. Oh, it has great. memes. Yeah. We saw people complaining about yeah. memes. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't corporate. It wasn't enough. professional enough for Cruz. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, so we like the memes. We were thinking about submitting some new memes upstream. Yeah, we're oh, yeah, we should keep the memes up today. Yeah. Yeah, you want up to date. Hey, just, I can do they're that. They're actually quite cool. <laughs> Wait, can we do like Cruise and Waymo memes in our plugin? Cruise <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and Waymo build custom tools. We use Plot Juggler. Cruise, that's the memes. Yeah, Cruise, just the picture of the origin. That's <laughs> <laughs> enough of a meme. <laughs> and the exponential. <laughs> yeah. We're here. I love that. Yeah, exactly. All right, great. And then, Harold, you use this one a lot. Yeah, so... Jonathan Frey, the, he's the main maintainer of Akados. Akados is an MPC library, so we use uh, through our lateral and longitudinal planning. We used to have something else that was Akado, and then Akados came along, and it was this, this nicer, cleaner Python version with the same functionality, um, which Jonathan has been maintaining. And when I started implementing that, uh, he started having 
I mean, I'm, I'm not that familiar with MPC. I was trying to port RMPC to that, and he had a lot of very useful comments on how to make RMPC work better and better suited to our application. So his comments were super helpful since he you know, was much more familiar with all the MPC stuff, and he uh, helped improve our MPC uh, project. So that was very nice of him and very helpful. Should we talk about his project? Yeah, uh, John will also be uh, joining us for an internship in uh, this January, yeah, next month. January. Um, since uh, since he was so helpful with all the uh, with all the Akado supporting, and his project is going to be uh, probably mostly actuator modeling. So, for example, in the Prius we have this big problem where the angle sensor of the steering uh, wheel is not that accurate. So you're not exactly sure where the steering wheel is. This gives a problem if you're relying on a PID loop to check where the angle is and then apply torque to get it to the correct steering wheel angle. So if we can just model how it responds to torque so that we don't even really need to rely on the steering angle sensor, which is uh, not that good in the Prius, we can get very smooth, uh, smooth lateral control without relying on the crappy sensor. And I think uh, Jonathan's gonna do a, a great job at that. And then those improvements will also carry over to other cars. But the Prius is gonna be the main, <laughs> main benef benefactor and the Prius is also a very popular car, so that's very exciting. Yeah. yeah. Good Prius. It's, it might Good finally Prius. be happening. You, you drove the Prius the other day. Oh, how was it? I was so excited. I was going to post in our internal channel. I was like, I'm so happy with how the Prius is driving. And then I hit a turn and <laughs> it was just like, and I deleted that post. So <laughs> Did you post it and then delete it? That's no, so I was nice. about to. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. I just deleted it. Bye bye ZSS, right. Eric said. Bye bye. Might, yes, exactly. Finally finally go away. Software ZSS, yeah. Prius, it works if you're driving in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> no, the longitudinal is great, it's so responsive. Oh, yeah, longitudinal. Yeah. Yeah. CSSP is not that bad. Yeah. It's got that hybrid motor torque. Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. You ready for the final commercial? Oh, yeah. All right. We got a few commercials Here now. We go. These are oh. holiday Reese's Pieces. You can see the M on them, it stands for Reese's Pieces. Oh. They're red and green and delicious. Also, brought to you by, we got with the computer, Nights Without You, a Midwest emo mix to end all Midwest emo mix <laughs> by Tess. Also brought to you by Redis. Redis is an open source, BSD licensed, in memory data structure store. And then when you realize it's in memory, you realize you need more memory. So our final commercial is for one point. 4, 8 terabytes of memory. How much memory do you have in your computer? I bet it's less than 1.48 terabytes. Listen to Nights Without You, a Midwest emo mix to end all Midwest emo mixes today. Great. <laughs> Thank you, George. <laughs> all right, this is big. This is the final commie of the night. Oh, this is the one. Time. It's that time. Do we like a drum roll? Yeah, we need to, someone pull up a drum roll on the, on no, the YouTube. Yeah, this is great. Terabytes of memory. Roll. People are very shook by what George just laid on them. <laughs> what did he lay on them? He said that he has 1.48 terabytes of RAM. <laughs> okay, but how long is it? It's quite long. Great. It's <laughs> <laughs> really fun. Who's it going to be? The final Kami, the Vanguard Award, as some call it. Some call it Contributor of the Year. Who would take guesses? He doesn't work at IBM. Let's okay. take guesses. He doesn't work at IBM, and he doesn't have a Toyota hat. <laughs> he does have a Toyota. He has a Corolla. He has a Toyota, but he doesn't have a Toyota hat, as far as we know. We don't know much about him. He has a Chinese way of pronouncing Toyota. What am I saying? Okay, let's stop this. Okay, now we've got five more seconds. Okay. It's the extended edition. Sure there's five more seconds. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let, let's, let's say it on three, everyone in the circle. One, two, three. D. D Lee! Lee. Woo! <laughs> yes. Dean Lee, for the second year in a row, you've been the contributor of the year. You've had by far the most commits out of anyone who works in the Yeah, let's do some Dean yeah, Lee highlights. Yeah. So this is like this is coming to you. <laughs> wow, look at the light. It's so pretty. <laughs> he has a Chinese Toyota Ericsson. Okay. Does, Does he have the, what's it, the Avanza or something? No, no, he has a Corolla. Oh. Open plot. <laughs> Do you work here, dude? <laughs> <laughs>
All right. And then, uh, yeah, we can just go in the first position. All right, let's there. check it out. 979 closed PRs. Oh my God. So he's almost at 1,000 PRs. That's insane. I wonder what his merge rate is. I bet it's high. Is it high? All right. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good. All right. Oh, should we start with uh, the contributors page? Yeah, we can show yeah. the full contributors page. So shout out to our 261 contributors. And as you can see, Dean Lee right here, 650, nice round number. That's cool. And you know what's very exactly important? twice as good as me. This is the <laughs> most important thing right here. Negative contributions. <laughs> nice. He's down 4,000 lines. Oh, I'm, I'm not good. Yeah, I'm Chris bad. just add lines. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, no, that that's one, fake, that one that's doesn't fake. count. <laughs> yeah, fortunately, most of us are fake. We delete and add libraries, so. Oh my god, I added a million yeah. lines! <laughs> you just add, and then we're deleting <laughs> all your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. But yeah, Dean Lee is now the third. <laughs> I mean, he's been the third for a he's while. He's been the third for a while. He's really solidified his position. It's there. Yeah, he's the third he's open pilot employee. Taken. No, he's, he's not close alone. No, Willem's untouched. No, this year for commits, though, he had, he's very close. All right. Really? Yeah. Wow. Wow, well, keep it up, Dean Lee, and in a few years, you might. <laughs> Actually, we can do just this year. Beat, uh, Where is. The internal column plates. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. This, this is just, just this year. Also, you can um... Oh, he's not that close to Willem. That's like 80 commits. That is close. Oh, yeah. That's pretty close. Click on Dean Lee. I guess, look, at, look at the trend, <laughs> though. Mm -hmm. Dean Lee's gonna overtake us all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. He even worked through the Chinese New Year. Look at that. <laughs> look Beautiful. At that. What a year! Vacation. Real what shout out to Dean Lee. Oh my god. 36 commits in Open Pilot just oh, this month. That's wild. And but keep in mind, he doesn't get all the quick commits, like fix the typo or anything. He, had, got a... he had went on holiday. Oh, he, 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 took he, he took a vacation? He took a vacation. Oh. No, actually, not even really, no. You Never mind. He, had, go. he took some time off in May. We'll go back to 2020, and, and no, you can see no, the big difference. There's no one week. Look how much more wow. he's committed since in oh, this yeah. year versus this, last year. This, by the way, to everybody who ever asks me how to become a great programmer, this is how you do it. There's only one way. Yeah, he every day. The Dean Lee method. He, he gets his PR closed all stuff. the time. He yeah. doesn't care. He comes back. He uh, fixes up what uh, we discuss, and then you know the new one's even better. And you just keep that cycle going until you get better. Yeah. So we, we appreciate contributors like Dean Lee. Uh, thank you for contributing to Open Pilot. And you have got a comedy coming your way. Let's find some highlights. Dean Lee, we're your number one fan. Um, yes. All right. Some highlights. Oh, this is actually a pretty cool one. <laughs> I don't know how he finds this stuff, too. Okay, what do you do with this one? Alright, this one's just a cool one to me. But basically I what... This one's put like a long time in bootloader. <laughs> it's a very... it's small diff. But what this does is, only initially in the boot log. So the boot log is uploaded once when your device boots up. So th what this will do is, it'll collect all the logs up until then from the system logger, throw them up into uh, some log, and then after that, it'll only collect the logs um, from the point where you went on road until you went off road. So until this PR, it would always be all the ones from when your device booted up until you went on road, and that would be every time you went on road. Oh wow! So, I don't know how you found this bug. Uh, well, it's not really a bug, but this is a little bit better way to do it. That's great. So it just amazes me how he finds this stuff. Yeah, he finds all his own problems in the code base, um, which is pretty amazing. It is amazing. Yeah, what's another highlight you Oh, think? we got another big shout out actually. Oh, we do? So, Robo had a great idea last night, and he, well, I guess, drew up morning, but um, he had this idea to add the engagement and disengagement uh, kind of hotkeys to replay. So you can click E or D, and then it'll take you to the next engage event or disengage. Um, and then a couple hours later, Dean Lee already has it implemented. Oh, cool, there it is. In like a nice generic way. So you can add other features where it's like, okay, I want to see all the times where the alert status changed, and you kind of want to keep jumping between them. He wrote it in like this really nice generic way where you can just write that. And he wrote, he basically wrote this whole replay tool, which is what everybody uses now internally and externally. Yeah. So to replay their logs. Incredible. Right. What Let's an see. incredible person. Or is it? <laughs> Persons. <laughs>
Quite honestly, we don't know. <laughs> Lizard, <laughs> robot, <laughs> the government. Yeah, we're on to you, government. It's like Satoshi Nakamoto. You know, how many people is that? <laughs> so, we're still unclear. Is it Wally? We should probably get like a Wally statue to commemorate Dean Lee in the office. Look at this 40 okay. pages of PR. 40 you know, I believe Dean Lee is one person. But are they. The style is too consistent. Yeah, we this would, is true. We would be yeah. Or a class, you know, a team of people all trained in Dean Lee. Mm. Who is that? Mm. Oh, they have the Dean Lee formatter. Maybe. So they all run. <laughs> Maybe it's a mob programming group. Oh, yeah, I think Harold's onto something. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's the, it's Do you want to tell them about mob programming? Do you yeah. want to explain what that is? Yeah, if you guys know about pair programming, it's all the goodness of pair programming, but instead of two people, you just have a huge amount of people all <laughs> sitting around the same computer. And then when you write bugs, nobody can be blamed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. You could have 10 people writing code, but no, no, no. Instead, you have 10 people arguing about which code not to write. <laughs> and they all have their different keyboard yeah. with the switches they like. It's amazing. We and do this afterwards, here. you take a vote. One character at a time. This yeah. is why George has a big couch in his office. We all pair a program in there. Twitch plays open file. Well, the commenters think there might be a Dean and a Lee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Could be a sentient AI as well. It's always a possibility. Yeah, we're experimental. Look at this. He just finds all his own issues. That's, that's amazing. That's pretty incredible. Look at all these replay PRs. Look how many get closed, too. It's incredible. But then he keeps going. Yeah. He doesn't I mean, discourage him. He just keeps going. Just a lot keeps... of my PRs get closed, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, you close them, not somebody else. I think there's a big difference. I close oh, them before other people can. That's a good strategy. <laughs> yeah, awesome. It's hard to find distinct projects because he was so consistent it's with like, replay it's, for It's off. amazing because, you know, nothing he does... It's pretty much ever featured in the release notes. Have we ever even put his name in the release yeah, notes? Yeah, we did it for the replay tool. For but the replay tool. It's just the thing isn't like, the stuff he works on isn't like super user facing. Yeah. Um, but you should definitely get more shout outs. But uh, like, maybe in the blog post. Yeah, and like the back end and like when OpenPilot, you know, overall gets yeah. cleaner and more stable, like a lot of that's thanks to Dean Lee. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, you know, every version there's a lot more changes than what's in the change lot. I'm sure, we, sure we, you know that. <laughs> yeah, we sent him a comma three. He was in the first batch. He immediately got it and fixed all sorts of bugs. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's incredible. But yeah, I mean, these are all quite small. Yeah. Like he really knows the code base. Outside of this company, he probably knows the code base the best, which is really incredible. Yeah. Thank you, Dean Lee. Yeah, thank, thank you, Dean Lee. Lee. Woo! Dean Lee. Clap. The clapping sound. Eh. Clapping right. sound. Oh, that's not enough. <laughs> yeah. 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 Great. Well, yeah, we just want to say thank you to all the community members. Uh, you know, whether you just make YouTube videos, you just have a comma device and you enjoy it. Uh, the, the retweeters. The retweeters, the, the likers, the likers. Instagram people. We even have Instagram people. The data the collectors. Watchers. Yeah. The right. haters. The haters. Thank you to the haters. We love you, haters. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's really incredible, you know, we're, that we're open source and uh, succeeding, making open source software. Uh, yeah. Very cool example in the world that you can actually do this. We're coming forks. There's like 7,000 forks of OpenPilot now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess most of them. Yeah. But it might not do much, but there's 7,000 forks. And I think we're getting to a point where nobody can catch us. There's going to be a point where the car manufacturers don't really have a choice. Like, could you start OpenPilot right now and ever pass us, no matter how much resources you have? I'm not sure you could. Yeah, food for thought. It's true. <laughs> I think even if they forked it, they would, have, they would have no idea what to do with it right now. No. They don't know what kind of box to put it in. <laughs> we need to show them what kind of box to put it in. Comma three, just put it up there. Up there. No, no, no. The Comma 3 has to be a small metal box without a screen. Then the car manufacturer's truck. It's incredibly <laughs> reliable. Yep. Yeah. Great. Thank you, everybody. That was another year in the books. And uh, we'll see you next year for the Commies uh, 2022. Trustworthy. <laughs> we should get like a metal paint. Yeah, it might help.
Thank you all for watching. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yeah. Bye, everyone.